Hello everyone, you're watching Newegg TV. I'm Jennifer and today I'm going to be giving you a product overview of this Tundra Series TDO2 closed loop liquid cooling system from Silverstone. All right, here's just a quick look at the box so I can go over the compatible applications. Now this is good for the Intel socket LGA775, the 1150 series, 1366 and 2011, and then the AMD sockets AM2, AM3, FM1, and FM2. Alrighty, well here is everything that comes in the box. Now I'm going to start over here and we'll talk about um, the radiator, uh, the unit itself, the closed loop liquid cooler itself in just a few moments and as well as the fans, I'll go into detail on those, but let's start with some accessories. It has a uh, wide split cable here, so that you can plug both fans into one location on your motherboard. Then we have uh, the back plate, which can be flipped around if you are using Intel or AMD. You get one back plate, just flip it. There's a uh, square spacer. You get a little cute little tube of thermal paste. And then um, some insulating sheets for your um, insul installation. And these are the AMD brackets here. It comes pre-plugged with the um, Intel brackets installed already. Then in this pile of loose screws I have, uh, we have the LGA. Uh, these are LGA 2011 screws. So you can use those. And then there's um, the regular spring screws here and some insul installation screws for your um, putting the radiator fans, or I'm sorry, putting the fans on the actual radiator and um, some more installation pegs. It also comes with this great um, how-to guide for installing everything. All right, so digging right into this cooler now, I keep wanting to call it a radiator system, but that's just my car speak coming out. It does look like a motorcycle radiator to me. Maybe that's what they designed it after. Anyways, let's talk about the block. The block material here is all aluminum with a copper base. Now that design is unique to Silverstone. Um, they've actually patented this. So you get the nice uh, Silverstone Snowflake logo here on top, your um, power cable there. And then you get 310 millimeter of fluorinated ethylene polypro or propylene tubing or FEP tubing, which goes into here and runs into the internal pump, which is 12 volt and runs at 2,500 RPM, give or take uh, 200 RPM. And talking about the radiator, it is aluminum, pre-filled and maintenance free. And some dimensions here, we have uh, 10.94 inches for the length, so not quite 11 inches there, 4.88 inches for the width and a depth of 1.77 inches you definitely want to make sure that the dimensions of this, um, your PC can accommodate those before you uh, get it and install it. Now the fins on the radiator, these are patented by Silverstone. These brazing fins touch the all sides of the liquid piping inside, providing a much better cooling system. And moving on now to the fans, which I have right here. You get two 120 millimeter fans and these are uh, 1500 to 2500 RPM fans, which are auto adjustable. And I showed you earlier, the, um, you get the Y cable so that if you only have one space on your motherboard, you can plug both fans into one. Now the total net weight of the unit is 1501 grams or about 3.3 pounds. Well, that wraps up this product overview of the Silverstone TDO2 closed loop liquid cooler. If you found this video informational or helpful in any way, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Jennifer, and thank you for watching Newegg TV.